While visiting South America, Elder Anderson met a man named Brother Para. Brother Para shared an experience he had. There had been an extensive blackout that caused citywide chaos. People were struggling to find food and businesses were robbed and torn apart because of it. Elder Anderson shared Brother Para's words, quote, As the owner of a small bakery, I was very worried about our business. As a family, we decided to give away all the food in our bakery to people in need. Through one very dark night, riots were everywhere. My only concern was for the safety of my beloved wife and children. At dawn, I went to our bakery. Sadly, every nearby food business had been destroyed by looters. But to my great astonishment, our bakery was intact. Nothing had been destroyed. I humbly thanked my Heavenly Father. Arriving home, I told my family of God's blessing and protection. They were all so grateful. My oldest son, only 12 years old, said, Pop! Papa, I know why our store was protected. You and Mama always pay your tithes." Unquote. Elder Anderson continued, quote, All that we have and all that we are comes from God. As disciples of Christ, we willingly share with those around us. With all the Lord gives to us, He has asked us to return to Him and His kingdom on earth 10% of our increase. He has promised us that as we are honest in our tithes, He will open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive it. He has promised us that He will protect us from evil. These promises are certain. The windows of heaven open in many ways. Some are temporal, but many are spiritual. Some are subtle and easy to overlook. Trust in the Lord's timing. The blessings always come." Unquote. Elder Anderson explained, quote, The Lord clearly directed how tithing should be dispersed, saying, Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, meaning bring the tithes into his restored kingdom, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. These sacred funds do not belong to the leaders of the church. They belong to the Lord. His servants are painstakingly aware of the sacred nature of their stewardship." Unquote. Elder Anderson shared the wonderful things tithing money is used for. Quote, From the generous tithes and offerings you have consecrated to the Lord, last year more than a billion U.S. dollars were used to bless those in need. Because of your tithes and offerings, missionaries, regardless of their family financial situation, are able to serve. Temples are being built across the world in unprecedented numbers. Your tithes are allowing the blessings of the temple to be in places only the Lord could foresee. There are more than 30,000 congregations housed in thousands of chapels and other facilities in 195 countries and territories. The church currently sponsors five institutions of higher learning. Classes are being taught each week in our seminaries and institutes. These blessings and so many more come in large measure from the young and old of every economic circumstance who pay an honest tithe." Unquote. Elder Anderson gave us this great insight, quote, The spiritual power of the divine law of tithing is not measured by the amount of money contributed, for both the prosperous and the poor are commanded by the Lord to contribute 10% of their income. The power comes from placing our trust in the Lord." Unquote. Thanks for watching. I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Something special happens every six months in our church. It is a worldwide conference where we hear our beloved prophets speak, as well as the 12 apostles and many other wonderful church leaders. We gather in person or through internet and other forms of communication. We receive over eight hours of Christ-centered messages.